Hi guys, in this video we will take a look at what I think are the best gaming microphones of 2021. Let's get started. Without wasting time, right away we're starting with the HyperX Quadcast, which is best all-rounder. The HyperX Quadcast is the ideal all-inclusive standalone microphone for the aspiring streamer or, or podcaster looking for a con uh, condenser mic with quality sound. Quadcast comes uh, with its own anti-vibration shock mount to help reduce the rumbles of daily life and a built-in pop filter to muffle pesky plosive sounds. The Quadcast in a, is an 8-inch cylinder measuring 2.2 inches across with soft-touch rubber caps on the top and bottom. The top half of the cylinder sides are metal grills over transculent foam, an internal pop filter, through which the microphone's RGB lighting glows. The lower half of the cylinder is a, opaque with a white HyperX logo near the bottom. The top cap doubles as a mute button which also turns off the RGB lighting when the mic is muted. The bottom cap is a large gain wheel. In addition to the mute button and gain adjustments, the Quadcast features a 4 position mode dial located on the back just below the grill. The dial lets you choose between cardioid, omnidirectional, stereo and bidirectional configurations. For all its grain design, though it's the Quadcast as uh, sound quality that justifies its price tag. It offers a frequency response of 20Hz to 20kHz and a bit rate of 16-bit, also featuring three 14mm condensers that allow it to operate in four distinct directional patterns. But perhaps the best feature is that the Quadcast comes with a shock mount. This is what pushes it over the top for gaming-related video content. A lot of USB microphones sound great, but they also pick up the bumping and thudding of a mouse moving on a nearby surface. You can almost always buy a third-party shock mount to fix that. But with the Quadcast, that's not a concern. It eliminates those vibrations without the need for anything extra. Right away, as the best runner-up, we have the Blue Yeti X. When it comes to audio recording equipment, Blue is a name you'll have probably heard of. With 25 years of experience under its belt, the company produces a great range of microphones for streamers, podcasters and content creators of all shapes and sizes that perform pretty well. The headline product of the range is the Blue Yeti X, which you'll probably recognize from many of your favorite streamer videos as it's hugely popular among Twitch and YouTube stars. The Yeti X is a sleeker, more premium looking version of its predecessor. The new peripheral has a slick two-tone look that consists of a slimmer black body and a layer of shiny silver that coats the microphone grill and bass. But Blue's new microphone really sets itself apart from its predecessor the moment you plug it in and see the device light up with a flurry of LED dots around its volume knob. This is where things get really interesting. Blue Voice, which originally debuted with the Logitech Pro X gaming headset, gives you powerful controls over your recording including a built-in vocal equalizer and a half dozen plugins to completely customize your recording. Gaming PC fans making a constant hum, right? <laughs> Turn on the high pass filter and cut them out. Noisy mechanical gaming keyboard? Enable the noise gate, like getting animated and loud? Turn on the compressor and limiter to protect your viewers ears. If all of that is too technical for you, Blue has also included dozens of presets to choose from which include things like FM and AM radio, broadcasters 1 and 2, high voice, low uh, voice and so on. In its default state, I find it to sound nearly identical to the uh, standard Yeti, which is to say that I, it still sounds great. Next up, we have something that you probably already heard, the Shure SM7B, which is the most versatile. The SM7B is a pro-grade dynamic microphone designed almost entirely with recording speech and vocal performances in mind. This could be podcasts, voiceovers, uh, broadcasts, or even streaming. Even the quickest glance at YouTube will show it's the go-to mic for plenty of top content publishers. Visually, the Shure SM7B is hard to miss, sporting a sizable enamel aluminum and steel housing and an equally distinct dark grey windscreen. An efficient design, the microphone hangs from an integrated yoke complete with a 3-pin XLR jack and a threaded nut for stand mounting. On the rear of the microphone are some unique sound customization controls with a visual representation of the frequency spectrum and two uh, switches for doggling uh, between low frequency roll-off, mid frequency boost and a fully flat response. Why is the Shure SM7B so well loved? 
There are many different reasons, but the one that is above all else is the flat, wide frequency response this microphone offers. It allows for a natural sound uh, reproduction, which means that voices come through clean and clear, as well as warm and smooth, making it perfect for broadcasting. The Shure SM7B has optimized its uh, shielding so that there's zero chance of any electromagnetic hum at all. You don't need to worry about searching for a reliable, effective pop filter to, atta to attach to the Shure SM7B. That's because it comes with one of the finest pop filters around. I highly recommend SM7B for its performance alone, but uh, the story uh, history is just an added bonus. And for you fellow streamers out there, I have the Elgato Wave 3, best streaming mic for the price. With a powerful software mixer, built-in uh, compressor and more, if you're a content creator on a budget, the Wave 3 is a device you can't afford to miss. With its satin black, uh, matte black finish, the Elgato Wave 3 is simply elegant. Its low-profile styling takes up minimal space in your work area. The microphone comes already attached to its weighted circular black base with a thick 6.5-foot USB-C cable. You also get an adapter to attach the mic to a boom arm if, you're, uh, if you so desire. On the front of the Wave 3, you'll find one multi-function gain knob that, when pressed, switches to control headphone volume and, when pressed again, switches to control the mic PC audio mix. All these functions are beautifully indicated by LED lights harmoniously uh, built into the front face of the microphone. Volume for all three is individually registered via the LED lights above the multi-function gain knob. With a frequency response of 70 Hz to 20 kHz and analog to digital audio conversion up to 24-bit 96 kHz, the Wave 3 captures higher resolution audio than many other popular USB microphones uh, for recording, gaming and streaming. The Wave 3 only has a single cardioid pickup pattern, the most common pickup pattern for a mic optimized for recording a single person positioned in front of it. Elgato also pro uh, professes to optimize the Wave 3. Uh, for recording closed vocals. If your vocals tend to get loud, whether shouting at your CSGO squad or laughing with your podcast co-hosts, Wave 3's internal proprietary always-on clipguard technology protects you against distortion. If your audio input levels peak to the point of potential clipping, clipguard automatically reroutes the sound to a second signal path at a lower volume. If you're a Twitch streamer looking for something to make your life easier or you're hesitant about shelling out for an audio interface, Yes, you should get the Elgato Wave 3. And for you guys who want a really nice mic but don't want to break the bank, I have the Razer Siren Mini, which is a best budget. The Razer Siren Mini is a $50 budget microphone for streaming that might skimp on features but still deliver top-notch sound. Content creators on a strap budget or anyone just dipping their toes into podcaster feel right at home with this plug-and-plug mic. Available in different colors and models, this Siren Mini has a pill-shaped build with a built-in desktop stand that can tilt to angle up to the person speaking and can also be angled slightly to the side, kind of like the 360-degree action of a joystick. The microphone's top half is all speaker grilled, with a recessed micro-USB port on the rear panel. The front face of the mic has a tiny status LED that lights up when the Siren Mini is connected. Behind the grill, the mic employs a 14mm condenser capsule that delivers a super cardioid pattern and a frequency range of 20Hz to 20kHz. The sample rate goes up to 48kHz and the bit depth to 16 bits. The Siren Mini also has some internal shock mount protection, according to Razer. When it comes to simplicity and value, the Razer Siren Mini is a top contender. If you're new to streaming or want something that's easy to travel with and lets you get right to business, this is a fitting mic. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you have any questions about the product mentioned uh, in this video, you can leave a comment down below in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as I can. But until then, stay safe and take care.